Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host Kieran and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider 2. And this episode is the Catacombs of the Talion. So, yep. Let's do that and careful with these icicles. So when you come into this room, um... We're gonna get the first secret which is through here. We shimmy along. Then we climb up here. And this here is the stone dragon, I think. Yep, the stone dragon. So we pick this fellow up. And then we pick the flares up. So once we pick those up, we've got to... Proceed what we were going to do originally. So what that music was for, it's these guys. That, ladies and gentlemen, are yetis. Yetis are not a myth after all. <laughs> they are real, as you can clearly see. So yep, we busted the myth whether they were real or not, but there we go, they are real indeed. Anyway, you saw that there's snow leopards out there, so we've got to climb up. Go to the side here. And then slide down, jump and grab. There we go. Now be careful, there's icicles here too that are going to drop on you. Like that. I think there's another snow leopard out here. Right, so... We come across here. I think there's only one snow leopard here, actually. It almost looked like there was more than one. There's guys that are up here too, so... They could be a pain in the bum. So wait until he comes down. Definitely want to take out that one first because he's the most threatening one out of the bunch. Ah, yeah. They make some very funny sounds when they die, man. This guy just has a normal death sound. It's like, Ugh! but the other guy's like, ah, yeah. It's quite hilarious if you ask me. So. Anyway, um, once we come here, we've got to not go this way. Um, there's a snow leopard here. Little swine. I knew there was more of you. There you go. All right, so where we've actually got to go is up there. Dun, 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 dun. There's no point doing that now. We come up here first. And we trigger these boulders. And what we do next is jump to here. And then grab the ladder. And once we climb up here... Gotta climb to about uh, about here. Then we jump back. And once we're up here, pull the lever, slide down, and jump up. And then once you pick this mask up, uh -huh. it's gonna drain the water down there, and it opens the door at the same time. So. You can now access down there. But I think there's also items in this little room here. I could be wrong about that. I've been wrong before in the past. But I'm not entirely certain. So, yeah, there's a health pack in here. Uh -huh. So, yep, this is going to be fun. So... 
Yep, the next level's gonna be fun indeed. People are definitely gonna be laughing at me at doing that one. And you'll see you'll see why if you've not seen or played Tomb Raider 2 before. Right, so the mask that we've got here. No. We gotta get this mask. And we've got a <laughs> Lara said no when I just saved the game. I wasn't using the book on it, Lara. Then we gotta jump quickly out of the way. Let's get the automatic pistols out. Because I don't want to waste good ammo on. This part can be quite bothersome. There we go. It's quite a short level, this one, actually, so. There is not a whole lot going for this one. And, um. We're gonna come here and. At least I think we come up here first. I think we come up here first. Oh, jeez. Those kiddies scared me, man. There's tons of them, man. There we go. It's quite a scary level, this actually. Whoa! Okay, so, yep. Ah, I've lost quite a lot of health from that. Oh, it's just as well I'm not doing no loads, no meds, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we've got to come down here anyway. Because there's another mask down here. So, yep, we do indeed have to come down here. And of course, there's guys. There's dudes. Then we're going to get the, the Uzis. And then we get this guy. Ooh, yeah. He drops uh -huh. some automatic pistol ammo and he drops Uzi clips and a small health pack. Uh -huh. So, yep, that's them dealt with. So, it's just a matter of going and putting the mask to the other side. Well, not the other side, but. Uh. All right, so once they go up here. We've got to take the mask and... Oh, no, no, not, not the mask as in, like, Jim Carrey. Um, <laughs> like, this Tibetan mask. Or Tibetan. How do you actually pronounce that? Like, is it Tibetan or Tibetan? Oh, and this room's quite scary indeed. Yeah, this room's very scary. Now, we've got to... Climb over here. Pull this switch. Now, I think that's released some yetis. There we go. So let's come down here where the cages are. Oh, jeez. I know it seems like I'm wasting flares, but I got loads of flares, so... I'm not really wasting anything, so... It's all good. It's all good. I'm all covered, folks. I've got tons of supplies. I know you need a lot. Don't need a lot at all. But more than enough to carry me through this game. Anyway, um... What you have to do next is uh -huh. that switch that opened these doors. Um, when you pull this switch, it opens a door, but it also closes these doors. So what you actually need to do is, if I can remember where this flipping pullable block is, I think it's here. Where is this thing? 
Oh, yeah, I know where it is. I know where it is. Yeah, I know where it is. I do. I know where it is. Yeah, it's right here. What you've got to do is... You've got to pull this block back. And you've got to make it so that when you push the... No, I'm not pushed up. Like, you've got to make it so that you put it underneath one of these gates so that when you pull the lever that's inside the room, that this block actually holds all the gates open. So you've got to push it underneath the gate like that. And this block will hold the gates open. And it holds it for all of them. So let's come over here and get this switch for now. So we'll open that door that we were just at earlier. So because the block's there, it holds these gates open. So if you pulled that before, those gates would not be would not be open. That would be closed. So now we've got that. Got that guy. We've got that guy. He's got uh -huh. automatic automatic pistol ammo. Uh -huh. He's got Uzi clips and a small health pack. Right, so... Oh, jeez. Oh, my lordy. I should definitely save soon. Ah, uh who? -huh. Uh -huh. Right, so we dealt with that guy. Definitely going to be saving when I get up to here. Nope. Well, if I get up to there. Not having the best luck of this level so far. Let's get up here. So. We run up, but we turn left here. Sharp left. And let these boulders run down. We will eventually get the last two secrets. And the next secret we'll actually be encountering very shortly. Very shortly indeed. Because it's actually not far from where we're at. Not far at all. Right, so that's me saved. And unfortunately, it did cut the music off for some reason, but... Right, there's these fish again that we saw in the, the sunken ship style levels, but like I said, they're not a big deal, so don't need to do a whole lot to them, but you do need to be weary of those those icicles that fall down. Right, so jump up and grab these ladders. This is actually where the next secret is. So... What we do to get the secret is we climb up about this high, I think. Then we jump backwards. Yep. And there's the Jade Dragon. Uh -huh. Okay, so then we climb down. And once we climb down, we in the water, swim away from these fish. And I forgot a switch. No, we haven't got a, forgot a switch. All right, so we climb up this block and we run and jump to this ladder. And then we've got to climb up. Slowly climbing up. It's because Lara's not got any footing on that because she was too low on the ladder, so... Again, same as the last part where we got the secret. We climb up to this high and then jump back. And then we land right here. And then it opens the door. Oh, just about I landed in that water, man. If the water's that deep, you can take less health damage that way. And then I use good ammo on the, the kitties. I need to stop doing that, man. And that opened the big doors in that room. So, 
Safest way down. Jump backwards here. Far right. And jump down. All right. So now we've got that. We're going to first off get a good thumbnail. We can get a good thumbnail from out here actually. Yeah, I believe this will do it well. I do forget to, like, get shots for a thumbnail in the previous levels, man. I need to stop doing that, man. Yeah, anyway, um, run and jump to here. I'm trying to remember how to do this, actually, so... Set off these boulders here. There you go, we set off those boulders. And then we jump forward, set off these ones, jump to the side, and it will break open that wall there. And the end of the level is actually through here. Before we do that, we're going to get the last secret. And it's this secret ladder that's kind of tricky to see, but it's got cracks on the wall so you can see that you can climb it. And the last secret is actually up here. There we go. Uh -huh. There's two grenades and two M16 clips. All right, so let's walk across these spikes so that we don't get hoit. Because to get out of here is through this bit. And then we've got to do this, this tile, that tile, jump, jump over the spikes and the end of the level is right here. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Run and jump to the ladder and climb down. And the end of the level is right here. And that's been the catacombs of Battalion. And it took me this, like I said, it's a very short level, this. Took me nearly 18 minutes to beat, found all three secrets, killed 26 enemies, 829 ammo used, 782 hits, two health packs used, and 2.37 kilometers traveled. So that concludes this episode. So thank you so much for watching. And as per usual, if you liked what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or Brad produce on this channel. I've been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.